Good afternoon, everyone. My name is uh, Vasilis Konstantinou. I'm a research associate at the National Observatory of Athens and the Beyond Center of EO Research and Satellite Remote Sensing. And um, today I will present to you the developments and progress of uh, Showcase 1 Pilot 2, and I will demonstrate the platform in which all these efforts culminate to. Uh, it, uh, the platform is called Agrowth and offers phenology and yield estimations to enhance farm performance. So I will start with a few slides to give the context and some important numbers with respect to our users, engagement, communication, dissemination, actions, etc. Uh, and I will then go straight to a live demonstration of the Agrowth platform. Okay, so let me introduce the team briefly from the National Observatory of Athens. Um, and all these people have worked in the development of the Agrowth plat platform. We have a multidisciplinary team with expertise ranging from remote sensing to big data engineering to health observation system engineering to data science. And of course, we have a front end developer. And um, uh, let me start um, uh, with a few words about the pilot. So the pilot combines health observation data from the Sentinel missions, uh, along with pertinent vegetation indices, uh, uh, soil and weather data. The Sentinel data are acquired from the umbrella Sentinel access point, uh, a broker API of Sentinel hubs that uh, was developed formerly by uh, the National Observatory of Athens that has now been uh, publicly exposed along with the relevant documentation within the context of ESA. And this is considered a contribution to ESA's work package three. I should also mention that the soil data that will be soon incorporated in the yield estimation models um, uh, for this pilot exploits Sentinel data and the soil database of the GEO initiative GEO Cradle. Uh, a growth makes use of state-of-the-art artificial intelligence uh, in order to produce algorithms that facilitate services which support smart farming uh, using earth observation data. And specifically, the tangible outcome of this pilot is a crop monitoring service that, as I said, is named Agrowth, and uh, I will demonstrate it shortly. So Agrowth offers information and supports actionable advice at the parcel level regarding the current phenology stage of the crop and the transition of those phenological stages in the course of time. And of course, the final yield of the crop, which will be soon available on the platform towards the end of the growing season. A growth is designed to work together with the Res Agri platform of Soki 6 Pilot 4 that was presented earlier by Nikos Barjotas, having the potential to function as an early warning and early action system based on combining numerical weather predictions and the phenology predictions of, of this pilot. Um, so, um, the context and motivation of this work starts uh, with the objectives of the new common agricultural policy. So, for the period 2021 to 2027, the European Commission proposes that the common agricultural policy is built around nine key objectives, uh, focused on social, environmental, and economic goals. So, here we present some of those goals that are the inspiration, let's say, behind the pilot uh, and, and the growth platform. So, first, we need to ensure a value a viable income for the farmer. A growth helps support viable farm income through its crop growth monitoring, natural disaster early warning, and yield estimation services. We also assist in increasing competitiveness and agricultural productivity in a sustainable way to meet the challenges of, of the higher demand and, and, and all of this in a resource constrained and climate uncertain world. So a growth can potentially assist in strengthening um, uh, the position of the farmer in the value chain by enhancing the cooperation among farmers, providing the cooperatives, the farmers' cooperatives, an overall view uh, of their collective farms and strengthening this way their resilience and performance through shareable evidence within their organization. A growth can contribute to uh, climate change mitigation and adaptation as well by assisting in farm resilience, combining weather predictions as I said, from Res Agri and, and crop growth monitoring uh, for early action and mitigation against um, um, possible extreme weather perils. In the same fashion, um, a growth can enhance the transparency uh, of, of uh, the overall agri insurance um, uh, processes. So, 
Agrof um, has been co-designed with uh, Neuropublic and, and Yeah Bihirin, who are partners of the SAFE Consortium and the main co-designers of the pilot. And, and recently uh, has also been co-designed with the Farmers Cooperative of Orkomenos in Biotia, Greece. So we made the first contact with the Farmers Cooperative um, of Orkomenos at the start of the cultivating season of cotton this April. And, and the cooperative requested the service uh, regarding the ideal sowing date for cotton. For this, we use the numerical weather predictions for soil and ambient temperatures um, as they were produced by the Res Agri application of, of SOW K6 Pilot 4, and based on uh, expert knowledge derived from bibliography and weather prediction time series um, analysis, we produced the requested service. So uh, here, this, this is not the agrove service, but this is um, okay, this is um, a, a, a mini service, let's say, that we integrated in the website of the farmers cooperative that we see here. Of course, everything is in Greek here, uh, but this was used um, uh, operationally in this uh, cultivating season of cotton. And, and here we see uh, that we have uh, the, the temperatures. Uh, the temperature predictions uh, for um, the next day and the day after that. And here we see a categorization of, of if it's recommended to sow cotton or not. And this is done based on the projections of the temperature in two days in front and 10 days in front. So this was given um, uh, operationally to the farmers suggesting when they should sow or not sow uh, 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 their farm. Uh, so um, this was, um, as I said, integrated uh, in, um, in, in this, um, in the cooperative's website, but uh, uh, once we uh, disseminated uh, this information, uh, we received a great interest for multiple other uh, cooperatives around Greece. So we've been sending um, automatic emails, as you can see here, more than 200 emails during the month of April, which is, uh, let's say, the sowing period of cotton here in Greece. Uh, so, uh, so five of those cooperatives, 12 cooperatives in total contacted us, and we are uh, in contact uh, to further engagement. Five of those received the, the optimal day for sowing maps, uh, which were used operationally, as I said. Uh, I should mention that our Comanos Cooperative uh, website accumulated 290 unique page views on March prior to the integration of our service, and then accumulated 1,100 unique page views during April after the integration of our service. We also uh, got a testimony. We also got a testimony um, from uh, Cotton Farsala, another um, uh, cotton cooperative um, here in Greece. Um, that said that uh, certain farmers went on to sow their fields while the map indicated sowing is not recommended. And indeed, the weather and soil conditions in the coming days were unfavorable. And, um, and the, the farmers that did that, they had to re-sow two to three weeks later. Uh, of course, the, the, the best case scenario here would be to have trusted and, and followed what the map says, but... Um, uh, this is uh, one of the testimonies that we got. And on top of, of our main co-designer, uh, Neuropublic Yerby Hearing, we have already signed two more MOUs. One is um, uh, with the Farmers Cooperative of Orkomenos. And uh, we also have one coming uh, for tomato. So uh, the pilot seeks to upscale its application to other crops and most probably starting with tomato. I should also mention that we are in the process of signing MOUs uh, with uh, two uh, companies, one seed company and one beer company. Uh, uh, so the seed company is interested in cotton as well, and the beer company is interested in, um, in barley. So these could be uh, options of upscaling going to different crop types uh, uh, for, for a growth. So uh, the services, a growth will be a valuable digital consultant 
uh, we could say for the cooperative and its members uh, in the current gr growing season of cotton. So our growth will be constantly enriched based on the continuous feedback received from the farmers and the farmer cooperatives, and of course, our main co-designer, Jerry Hirin. So the crop growth estimation service and the upcoming yield estimation service um, uh, are very important information to farmers, consultants, but also insurance organizations and companies. Uh, this information is not provided to them in the level of detail and precision that a growth offers, not from any, uh, let's say, available service out there uh, for Greece, as far as we know. And I should also mention that the code for, for the phenology estimation algorithm has been made freely available on GitHub and shared also with uh, Work Package 3 to be shared among the consortium. Um, okay. So, um, in order to train now and validate our phenology estimation service, we run and we keep on running this growing season um, uh, uh, field campaigns. So experts visit the fields and decide on the current phenological states according to our custom-made protocol. And the experts additionally take a photo of a representative plant and a panoramic photo uh, of the field. So this year, uh, this year only, we inspect 250 parcels with experts visiting them three or four times a month. The results thus far support the quality of our estimations. Uh, I, I'm not going to go into details here, but uh, we, we can see uh, some examples here where we have, uh, and we saw the platform later, here we have um, uh, estimated that is at, uh, this uh, field is at 39% of lift development, and we see um, uh, the photo that supports that. Again, here we see one that has developed a bit more, 79% uh, of leaf development, and we can see even this uh, slight difference uh, uh, that is validated, and we can actually capture it from Sentinel data. Okay, so um, uh, the, the pilot has received also significant support from ESAFE with respect to outreach of the pilot results in focus community workshops. We presented our preliminary results and mock platform in September 2020 in the online smart farming conference uh, through the help of Work Package 4. Uh, there is an upcoming presentation in Neurologi ESAFE Agri Workshop in Ireland this month where we will uh, showcase the platform. Uh, work Package 5's pilot business expectations have been completed and included in the first sustainability deliverable. And of course, we will receive continuous support from Work Package 5 uh, in this uh, second uh, sprint uh, regarding sustainability. So, um, uh, And finally, we received significant support from Work Package 6 and the communication and dissemination team with the efficient exposure of our conference presentations, uh, publications, and service developments in all social media platforms. Indicatively, indicatively, we have disseminated co-design meetings here. You can see the co-design meeting where we presented uh, in, in Orkomenos, the platform, a couple of weeks earlier. Uh, uh, we also have um, a, a publication in the upcoming IEEE uh, IGARS conference. Uh, we also have a, a success uh, story that has been published and an immersed Earth observation uh, podcast. Uh, so let us. Um, ah, okay. Uh, so uh, uh, I should also mention that ESAP has allowed our pilot to work synergistically with other pilots, increasing uh, the value of our developed services. The pilot outputs are used together with the ResAgri application, as I mentioned. And, and additionally, the pilot plans to work together with Showcase 1, Pilot 1, and other pilots of Showcase 1, with the first example um, of this intra-Showcase synergy being the mobile application for crop calendars collection and phenological stages developed by IASA and co-designed with um, uh, Showcase 1, Pilot 1, and Showcase 2, Pilot 2. It is therefore this synergy with other pilots um, uh, that we find extremely useful and we believe uh, will increase the value of our outputs and support the sustainability of our exploitable assets. So therefore, in an attempt to, to reply also to Erwin's comment um, in, in the first presentation of, of Nikos Quartotos with respect to synergies among pilots and showcases, this pilot acti actively pursues collaboration, uh, collaborations with showcase 6 and pilot 4, but also with all other pilots and showcase 1. So let us uh, now uh, move on um, 
to, to the demonstration. Okay. Okay, so um, this is um, so this is the login page of the growth platform. So here I should mention that there are three different types of users. Uh, the farmer that includes the specific uh, farmer's parcels, the cooperative that includes all parcels for all members of the cooperative, and the super user, let's say, that has access to multiple parcels in uh, various different locations and regions. One example of such a user is Neuropublic and Gap Hiri, our main co-designer, but hopefully soon we will have the beer and seed companies I mentioned earlier. Um, uh, I should also state that uh, we have already accumulated more than 230 parcels uh, in the growth platform, and we will soon add more than 200 more. For all these parcels, the growth services of crop growth monitoring, namely the phenology estimation, um, uh, are running and will continue to run and update in real time uh, in the course of this growing season. So given the success of establishing the cooperations with the tomato farmers cooperative and the beer company who are interested in barley, we plan to upscale the services uh, to those other two, two crop types in spring two and spring three. So using the demo credentials that you see here that are available for anyone to use and, and, and see, um, and anyone can have a look at their growth services and contact us for integrating their own parcels in the system. So the demo users, um, the demo user refers to, to the parcels of a real farm, farmer in Orchomenos that agreed to share uh, uh, their data. So uh, the output shown on the demo user are 100% real and updated with every new acquisition. So this growing season, everyone will see how this platform works. Um, uh, and do not refer to you know, static data for demo purposes only. Uh, I will start with the admin user that has access to all um, integrated parcels in a growth. You have three minutes left only. Okay. Okay. So uh, here we see that we have uh, uh, many different uh, uh, parcels around Greece. Uh, I will uh, focus in uh, Orchomenos here, where we can see uh, we can select a parcel and see, uh, uh, first of all, the temperatures for today and tomorrow as they come from the res, uh, the res Agri platform. We can see here the map component where we have uh, the, the phenology, where here we can see that uh, all these parcels are in the leaf development uh, phenological states. But uh, as you can see here, when you press on its parcel, you can see the phenological stages on the right here. Uh, and you can see the percentage of completion of the current uh, estimated um, phenological states. So this one says that the leaf development stage is the major um, uh, uh, stage uh, uh, of development and it's completed by 79%. Here we can also see the crop mismatch where an incoming parcel that for example is declared to be cotton and it's not, can be identified using um, uh, you know, a comparison based on reference Sentinel-2 time series of cotton. And if the difference is big enough, we say this is not cotton. And this is done the same with the predicted crop type, but this is done for many more crop types. And this service is to assist, uh, in, to avoid, uh, let's say, um, uh, mistakes during the application process of the common agricultural policy. Of course, here we can have some um, uh, overlay uh, um, uh, data. We have NDVI, NRGB. We can see here, we can select uh, for the 2nd uh, of June, uh, uh, for example, and this is updated with every new acquisition. The different vegetation indices, but also crop specific indices such as barry and bori for cotton can also be seen in the form of, the, of this time series that gets, of course, updated with every new acquisition. So now moving to the connection with the ResAgri platform, we press here for more um, uh, information on weather data, and we can see that we are immediately redirected to the parcel of interest, uh, to the parcel of interest that we selected in the previous platform. And here we have all the different um, uh, uh, numerical weather predictions for our parcel. This is um, uh, um, very important 
uh, for, for the uh, phenology estimation service that we have here in Agrove. And it's very important because we can combine this information. We can combine this information in many different ways, but imagine having um, uh, the knowledge of the current phenological state, uh, the very um, um, uh, great level of detail for many parcels uh, in our area, and at the same time knowing uh, if an extreme weather event would happen in the next days. So for example, we could sow a week later if we know the temperature is gonna be like that. We could um, uh, irrigate, uh, we could um, avoid irrigation if we know an upcoming um, uh, precipitation event is coming. We could, we could have a harvest early if we are in 30 or 40 or 50% of bowl opening for cotton, if we know an extreme, uh, let's say, hailstorm is coming and would destroy the harvest. Um, other examples are to, um, you know, uh, avoid or postpone foliar fertilization if we know an upcoming uh, precipitation event is coming or wait for the precipitation if we want to perform, um, you know, uh, soil fertilization uh, that will accumulate better. So all these uh, uh, different scenarios um, are extremely useful to the farmer, to the farmer cooperatives, to the agricultural consultants that manage um, um, tens or hundreds or even thousands of different um, uh, parcels that can have, you know, a synoptic view of all the parcels together with the weather information to take early action um, uh, against, uh, you know, uh, weather events. So thank you very much.